and it is raining yet again that's why my truck was filthy in part one of the video <laughs> that's my excuse anyway so uh, i've actually got my harness here um that i'm going to be uh, installing in my 2011 vitara after the uh, the mechanical uh, portion of the hitch installation was done yesterday um so if it looks decidedly used is because it is um this harness actually came out of my SX4. Um, that vintage SX4 happens to have the same wiring harness that's utilized by the Vitara. And since my SX4 is going to be retired from towing duties, I uh, figured I might as well save myself like, I don't know what it is, 60 bucks, 70 bucks Canadian or something. Um, I'm just going to have to get a generic, where the hell did I put it? Yeah, um, this section of harness, which has to be cut in order to be pulled through the floor anyway. Because uh, I don't believe in the Mickey Mouse installation where you have the harness sitting inside your trunk floor and flip it out through the door when you need to use it. Uh, I'm going to install it on a permanent basis through a grommet in the floor. Um, yeah, so I'll get you the part number for that. As it says, it is interchangeable with the uh, first generation SX4 anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll get to that. Here's the parts. I've got my tools and my parts uh, that we're going to need. Uh, by the way. That's a joke. Isn't that right, Yoko? Yeah. So uh, anyway, just to uh, prove the point, it is interchangeable uh, harness between the two uh, vehicles that I'm utilizing here. Um, there's the part number of the uh, harness, Hopkins part number. Multiple manufacturers actually uh, produce it uh, in and around $100 Canadian, maybe $60 uh, American. Uh, so there it fits this, the SX4 and same part number also fits the uh, the Vitara. Uh, get the right harness for your vehicle. Um, I think this interfaces with a body control module. Uh, it could be an extremely expensive mistake if, uh, if you don't have the correct harness. So we'll start by actually uh, taking off uh, the uh, popping loose the uh, side panels here and uh, removing the trim. Pretty straightforward. So the seal is removed all around. Straightforward. Uh, there's five clips that you pop and uh, two buttons straight forward on that panel get to the side, side panels. panels here just two clips ideally you have a interior fork you can break the fastener Side. Same deal on the left hand side uh, because we have to pull this a little farther away in order to access the uh, harness interface points. Uh, there's another button there, just pop that one button. And you should be able to pull this, be careful. I've got the auxiliary jack and of course the, the lighting wiring to worry about. Can you tell I haven't had this panel off before? So, uh, yeah, just remove the jack, obviously, because it's going to stop you from pulling the panel out physically in the way of the sidewall of the panel. And then you should be able to pull it and we'll get reasonable access to the connector. A couple of bungees, gently, so you don't uh, overstress the panels, um, attached to the panel here to pull it back so you can get some access. Kind of acts as a third hand, it's quite handy. So in order to remove the connectors, uh, there's the little inspection mark from the factory that I strongly suspect actually that has been quality uh, control check that the lock is actually engaged. So just gently pry up on that and it will separate. Don't bust that tab. So I just have the uh, the T adapter teed into the, uh, the tail light assembly here and onto the, the harness from the, the chassis. Uh, there's a male and a female side obviously, pretty straightforward there. And conveniently, there's actually a, a through body or through floor uh, grommet right there where some existing factory wiring comes through. I'm going to use that so I don't have to do any drilling on the floor or anything, don't damage anything. I'm going to use that as a feed through. Looks like it might be a wee bit tight. I'm hoping I can squeeze my, my wiring, uh, the four wire flat uh, connector harness up from the, uh, the hitch itself. Uh, up through the floor and then of course I'll interface that with our uh, module wiring here. <clears throat>
Okay, so uh, under the vehicle here. So as I said, I had to add this length because I'm using a used harness. I had to add this length, the four wires, uh, they go to the flat, uh, flat four connector. Um, I bought one that's pre-sheathed, so I don't have to use any of the convoluted plastic sheath, which I normally use, uh, as opposed to bare wire running outside the, uh, the chassis. And it makes sense to me that I'm on the under, I'm just on the underfloor side here. Uh, there's actually a feed through on the floor uh, that I am going to use to feed this wiring up and then I'm going to interface the module. So I can't do this with uh, one hand while I hold the camera. So once it's in position, I will show you how I've got it set up. So just a quick look at how I've actually uh, attached the exterior wiring. I'm going to have the, uh, I like the uh, position of that there. And I've actually attached this to the back of the rail. Try to give it some ground clearance because if I attach it down below here, it's uh, it's going to be subject to mechanical damage. However, it's a wee bit closer to the muffler than I'd like, so I will reinspect that in a week or so to make sure it's not getting damaged by the heat. If it is, I'll obviously make changes to the video, uh, but I think it should be fine. Uh, I've got it running up here, and as I said, it makes good sense to me. There's the where it runs up. It's clamped to the frame of the hitch itself me it makes good sense to use the through the factory uh, through floor grommets that are already there and I uh, didn't have any trouble feeding that up through that grommet there that's just after the left hand wheel well so there's just a quick look at everything basically in place um, there's the module there it's got an adhesive backer on it but I don't really trust those so I strap it uh, tie wrap it as close as I can on the harness so that even if the adhesive backer lets go it's still gonna have support uh, so everything is teed into place, of course. Um, the white wire there. Give a better look. Uh, there's a the ground, so you need to basically drill a hole. Sorry, that's not good view. There you go. There's a uh, a ground uh, just on the edge there. Uh, burnish the uh, the primer, and uh, you know put a wee bit of any corrosive compound on it, and you'll be good to go. And uh, I've got some. Um, uh, anti-chafing measures there where it goes up and across the uh, the sheet metal just in case so and then of course back down so I just got some convoluted uh, conduit on there as I said just in case it chafes and the other side um, just teed in uh, the wiring comes across it's all supported all uh, tie wrapped in place there and the existing wiring harness and uh, across here Sorry, we're going upside down, but across here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So just the panels to go back on. Okay, so that's it, boys. At long last, everything's back together. Um, just take note of the uh, the seal, because there is a direction on the seal. It can only go one way. Uh, the dirt mark will probably tell you which way you put it back in. All the panels are back in. So let's put it to the acid test here. I've just got my little uh, LED test tester plugged in, of course, right? Um, so, tail on the left, left in the middle, right on the right, and of course the brake will be both of them when it illuminates. So, let's give it a shot. Tail lights. So, I'll go left. left I've still got the tail lights on right and tail lights and of course I'll try break and then I'll turn the tail lights off Look at that off a bit. I still had the right signal on while it braked and then turned the tail lights off. So anyway, I'll review the footage. I'm pretty confident everything is functional. Uh, yeah, take your time with this. It's a bugger. Um, it's going to take a lot longer than you think, especially if you're obsessive about things like me. And uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that. That's it, boys. Cheers.